Hey guys, welcome to a new video. In today's video, we're going to look at a lead code problem and the problem's name is unique number of occurrences. So in this question, we're given an integer array. We have to return true if the number of occurrences of each value in the array is unique, else we have to return false. So the return type is a boolean value, true or false. So we have to calculate the count of each value inside the array and we have to check it with the rest of the array elements and make sure that all of them have unique occurrences. So let's take this example, 1 is appearing 3 times, 2 is appearing 2 times, 3 is appearing 1 time. The number of occurrences are 3, 2 and 1 and they all are unique so we return true as the output. In this case 1 is appearing once and 2 is also appearing once. Both of them are appearing once which is not unique so we return false as the output. Now let's take this example on and see how we are forming the output. So I have the input array and let's iterate through the input array from left to right. I'll use a hash map to store the frequency of every value inside the array. So I'll create a hash map. So the keys are going to be the array elements and the value are going to be the count of that array element. So let's start with the first element. It's a 1. So add it as key and set its frequency to 1. In the next element we are at 2. It is not present inside the map. So make a new entry and set its frequency to 1. Next iteration we find a 2 again it's present so increment the value from 1 to 2. In the next iteration we find a 1 which is already present so increment its current value by 1. So 1 will become 2. In the next iteration we are at 1. 1 is already present inside the map so increment its count from 2 to 3. In the next iteration we are at 3. 3 is not present inside the map so set it as a key and set its value to 1. And we reach the end of the array. Now we have to deal with uniqueness property right. So a good data structure to use is a hash set. So hash set allows only unique values. It does not uh, allow duplicates. So I create a hash set and add the values from the map. So this is the map, right? So map size, map dot size will give you the size of the map. In this example, it is three. And from the map, I'm going to extract the values and set it into the hash set. So I use the map dot values property and add the values from the map into the set. So all the values will be added into the set and since all are unique, all of them will be added into the set. Now I calculate the size of the set. Size of the set is 3. I check with the size of the map. So if size of the map and size of the set are same, we return true as the output. Since 3 is equal to 3, we return true as the output. Now let's implement the same steps using a Java program. This is the input given to us. Let's take the second example as input. So input is 1 comma 2. First I'm doing a base check. If the input array is of 0 length, we return false as the output. Now I create a hash map. Let's create a hash map. So this is the key and this is the value. I'll iterate through the input array ARR using the num variable. So I'm checking if map has that num. Then I'm incrementing the current count by 1. Else I'm setting that array element and setting its frequency to 1. So this will happen for all unique values in the array and from the next time whenever you find it inside the map using the contains key method because array elements are present as key right I increment its frequency with 1. So now it's not present so we access num is pointing here we get 1 and set its frequency to 1. In the next iteration num will move forward so num is here again we check if 2 is present inside the map as key. 2 is not present as key inside the map. So this part of the else block will be executed. I insert 2 and set its frequency to 1. And we reach the end of the input array. Now I create a hash set. So hash set is a empty set initially. And extract the values from the map. The values inside the map are 1 comma 1. So first I extract 1, so this is inserted from the map into the set and next we try to add another 1 into the set but hash set does not contain duplicate values. So only one 1 will be inserted into the hash set. Now I am going to check if the size of the map is equal to the size of the set. Size of the map is equal to 2 because there are 2 entries. So map.size is equal to 2 and set dot size is equal to 1 because there is only one element inside the set. Uh, this condition is failing. This won't be executed. It will come out and return false. 
So false is the output for this example, which is matching the expected output here. So the time complexity of this approach is of n, where n is the length of the input array ARR. And the space complexity is also of n because we are using a hash set and a hash map to compute the output. That's it guys. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.